today we've got in the train. Um, there's two main things to do in the train, or three. One is go to the Vinpearl water park, another one is go to like a mud bar, and then the last one is just like hang out at the beach and stuff. It's got a really, really nice beach here. Yeah, we slept in because we were so tired, so we've kind of had to discount the other two options today. So today we're going to go and we found like a beach house. It's called the Louisiana Brew House and they've got a pool there and if you eat there you can use their pool and hang out on the beach. So we're going to try to go down. It's about 10 o'clock so hopefully we're early enough. So we'll see how it goes. <laughs> by a friend to come here and one of the things she was saying was the passion beer I think these ones and oh yeah I'm gonna get one it's like super early but I think I have to can't be as bad as yesterday when we were walking along the beach it was literally like 6 30 a.m. and there was these two people having beers <laughs> that was weird, eh? but there's people here with like one liter steins and things like that it's ridiculous but... I think you should get this one See that time. This is bigger than what I thought. <laughs> it's delicious, it's like that other passion fruit beer, but better. Try some. This is gonna look ridiculous. Does it look real massive? Yeah. Drink this much of it, but it is actually quite tasty. Yeah. This pool here looks really good for a swim. I'm gonna use the GoPro to go do it. Snaking some seats, hopefully. Go, Max, go. What's he up to? No, sit down. He's being too nice. He's walking away. What is he doing? What's happening? Okay, so we were sitting up here where Jane is, and then some seats just over here became free. Um, I was quickly tried to snake them as fast as I could and as soon as I got there I started putting my tail down some other guy came along and was like oh man we've already kind of reserved these and I was like I'm waiting for an hour it was a Russian dude and I thought it was just going to be like fucking here we go um, but he was really nice really polite I was like you guys have it they had a bigger party than us and there was like more seats there and within like 30-40 seconds he was talking to another guy on my behalf and like finding some more seats for us so he was actually like really really nice guy which is a massive bonus here because everyone's a lot of the tourists are really quite rude we've found yeah that was good so now we've got like a seat next to the beach and right by the pool i'm really happy we've been sitting here relaxing i'm not naked i'm wearing a bikini We've been sitting here relaxing for a couple of hours and I've been reading The Lonely Planet to try to figure out what we're going to do in Cambodia because that's where we're going next after Ho Chi Minh City. But I was wondering if anyone had any recommendations on what to do because we have, we've seen a lot of beaches, a lot, what are you doing? You just keep on cutting off our heads like this. A lot of beaches, a lot of islands. So we don't really want to go down to Chinookville or whatever it's called. 
but we're gonna go to Phnom Penh and Siam Reap in Angkor. So if anyone else has any other cool suggestions, can you please let us know? Now last night we came to a Sublaki place. Is it Sublaki's? Yeah. Like Peter Grat. Yeah, Greek. Oh, Greek place. And it was so delicious and really, really cheap. But I've made Jane come back here for lunch. I picked it in the first place and Max is like, oh, okay. And then the whole time we're eating our Sublaki, he's like, oh my god, this is the most delicious thing I've ever eaten. Yeah, so good. No thank you. No. So yeah, it's up here somewhere. So these are the kebabs that you get from here and they're like $3.50 or so and they're massive and delicious they're the best kebabs I've ever had in my life. What do you Even think? better than Dimitri's at home. It shits all over Dimitri's at home, like way better than them. It's not just like shredded lettuce and mayonnaise and then a little bit of meat, it's like lettuce, delicious tomatoes, chicken, chips in there. Oh yeah. How good is the tomatoes? Oh, the tomatoes are red. What? Sorry? The tomatoes are red. What colour are normal tomatoes? I don't know, but it's just real red if I like a real good plump tomato in Vietnam. Jane's had a lot of sun today. 